all right so any questions so far anyone please let me know uh, raj anjaydeep anup Ra rajan any questions for me till now when you say so, exam what do you so mean you? is it for certification or just like you testing us uh no no uh, when i say exam it will be uh, it will be kind of interaction i will ask you around 40 questions and you will be supposed to answer that okay and uh, if uh, you stuck somewhere you are not able to answer i will clear the doubts okay so okay. yeah but if you are interested in taking the real time certification of aws it cost around 100 dollars uh 150 dollars yeah it cost around 150 us dollars so you can purchase the voucher online and uh, you would be able to give the exam so amazon will provide you a nice looking logo that you can paste on your resumes and uh, show the word that uh, you are aws solutions architect certified all right so so it's a open book exam or in the closed book exam no it will be closed book it won't be open book. How many questions is that? Uh, there will be around uh, uh, 80 questions and uh, it will be, uh, yeah, I, I gave it like uh, three years back and uh, at that point of time, there were around, uh, it was 80 minutes exam, one hour, 20 minutes, and around 65 questions were there. 60 to 65 question and the uh, the passing percent is uh, uh, 70 percent so if you have scored like 70 percent you can consider yourself uh, having cleared the exam and uh, uh, yes uh, so uh, it, the difficulty level is not that much so let me show you one thing right now uh, the best part about amazon is that everything is documented right so whenever you want to see something you are not sure how the things gonna work out you can always refer to their website so for example let me show you the website right now uh, it's aws.amazon.com slash certification and uh, you go to our certifications and there are right now six certifications so you can see on my screen <clears throat> on the architecting side development side and operation side there are two certifications each so two multiply by three six famous certifications are there out of these, the one that we will be focusing on is this one, AWS Solutions Architect Associate Exam. So once you are proficient with it, you can go with the uh, AWS Certified SysOps Administrator. And uh, you can, after that, you can go with the uh, AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional and uh, after that you can go with DevOps Engineer Professional. So that is the basic hierarchy that uh, people usually follow in order to build their career in uh, AWS and DevOps. So uh, once you are specialized with this, you can, if you have keen interest in networking, then uh, you can go for uh, AWS certified uh, advanced networking speciality wherein you can learn more about the data centers of Amazon Web Services and uh, you can if you have keen interest in big data and Hadoop you can go with uh, the certification that is AWS certified big data speciality all right so all this information you can find on uh, aws website okay now many of you many of you would be getting this question why exactly have we decided to go with uh, aws not with microsoft azure 
or Google Cloud Platform because Google is a bigger company as compared to Amazon, right? However, in terms of cloud, Amazon is the market leader right now. So if I show you here, if we go to Google <clears throat> and uh, uh, we type uh, like uh, uh, Gartner uh, Magic Quadrant for 2017 cloud. <clears throat> so if we go to this website, uh, the market share of AWS right now is 75%. Uh, uh, so it's more than the combined mar market share of uh, companies like uh, Google, uh, then Microsoft and Oracle. It's more than that, right? So we are talking about uh, cloud. So uh, let's go with cloud infrastructure as a service worldwide. So we want to see who is the market leader there. So it's going to fetch us the report. OK, let's click on. Uh, do we have links here? They haven't provided any links. So <clears throat> the report was published on 15th June 2017. And uh, what we are looking for right now is uh, we want to see the graph that shows, that shows AWS as the market leader. So ideally there should be a link to all these keywords, but they have not provided the link. But that graph is really important, so I want to show you that. I'm looking at this uh, on Google, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it says cloud infra in infrastructure services, but that's on uh, quarter two of 2016, and at that time, it was 53% Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if we talk about the latest reports uh, from uh, uh, 2017, the market share is now 75%, and uh, this is the Gartner uh, Gartner Quadrant, so you can see that AWS, Amazon Web Services, is uh, clearly the topmost leader, uh, followed by Microsoft and Google. Then Alibaba is also coming up with their cloud service. So you might have a, uh, you might have a, uh, heard about the websites like AliExpress and. Uh, uh, those shopping websites which are owned by Alibaba, Jack Ma is the CEO or the owner of that company. And uh, Alibaba is coming up, IBM, Oracle, uh, then uh, in the niche players we have uh, Fujitsu and uh, Virtual Screen. Uh, many new companies uh, trying to get their hold on uh, cloud. Uh, cloud, as they are trying to come up as the cloud computing vendors. 